YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today was a massive day on FIFA 23. And for this video, we are going to be looking at investments with fodder, road to the final cards, maybe team of the week cards. And we'll be kind of looking at when should we possibly be selling some of these cards if you do have them. But before we talk about all that, we got to look at content today on Sunday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Sunday was a bit of a surprise. We ended up getting a mid-icon player pick. I don't know how many leaks there necessarily were for this and holy crap wow it is repeatable twice and it refreshes every day and i'm guessing when it refreshes it's repeatable twice again and the requirements for this SBC is an 86 and an 87 overall squad i think it comes in just around 300,000 coins and um wow it is uh quite an impressive SBC. I think it's a little overpriced for like a mid icon player pick. It's only one of two. So if it was one of three, maybe I'd say okay. But for a mid icon player pick in February, I, I don't know. But uh, this moved the market big time. If you bought 87 overall cards, almost any like high rated fodder, 86s did pretty good too. But 86s did really good. I think they were 18k. They might still be 18k actually. Yeah, they're still around 18,000 coins. That's really, really, really good. I think they were they were down at what 14k. Even at 15k, people were still buying another 18k. That's that's pretty solid. But 87s. Oh my god. Uh, you guys know right below me. This is what I've had on the streams. These were the prices. 85s were up at like 13k. Pretty decent. I think some of them were like 13.5, 13.75. 86 is we bought for 14k even at 15k people still bought pretty decent there 87s were 19k they were easily 19,000 coins and now if we go look at 87 overall cards it's uh whew, they're up a lot and if you bought those i know quite a few people did you are making really good coins let's just get this going andrew robertson let's take a peek how much is he now they are over 25,000 coins. So what is that? 5K profit per card just about. Really, really solid there. And guess what? This SBC refreshes every day and it is repeatable, I'm guessing, twice every day. So that's crazy. And then on top of that, you have the 89 plus prime or World Cup icon refreshing on Thursday. So there are a ton of SBCs requiring fodder. So far, every day we've had an SBC. Friday, we had an SBC, uh, 85 plus player pick, and that refreshes every day. Saturday, we got the 89 plus icon pack. And then today on Sunday, we just got an icon, mid icon player pick. EA are going crazy with SBCs right now. And I'm wondering, are they going to continue doing that? I mean, they've gone, they haven't gone a day without missing so far. And we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday coming up. Those three days are usually Monday and Wednesday, more specifically days when EA drop some sort of SBC, like... Monday is usually an upgrade SBC day, but if we go look at SBCs, we already got the upgrade SBC. So I'm really curious what's going to come out tomorrow on Monday. I know for sure we're going to be getting player SBCs. We got these two player SBCs, by the way. I don't know. These showdowns are kind of boring. Nothing crazy. By the way, with the uh, showdowns, Solaire, PSG, they beat whatever the other team was. So Solaire gets his upgrade. They beat Kolasinac. I don't know. What is that? Marseille? But uh, where is it at? The player pick. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. We got the player pick on Friday. And basically what I'm saying is tomorrow on Monday is usually when these upgrades are. But we already have it. So I'm like, hmm, are we going to get a player SBC and maybe another kind of casino SBC? Like an 85 plus times five pack something. I'm just trying to think of something that they could, may that they could maybe release that could make our fodder do really good. So... I, I, if you have fodder, basically what I'm saying is, hey, we have SBCs every day with showdown SBCs. We have an icon SBC refreshing every day and we have another icon SBC refreshing on Thursday and we have the 85 plus player pick SBC refreshing every single day. So I'm like, okay, um, supply is done. Basically, weekend league is pretty much over. Squad bottle rewards done. I mean, 
why would I want to sell my fodder? I'm, I had so many people coming in from like YouTube, TikTok and stuff like that saying, yo, Teddy, do I sell? Do I sell? Do I sell? You know, the profit is nice, but like, guys, think about it. No more supply and a bunch of SBCs still to come. Like just chill, relax a little bit. You guys are going to be fine. Uh, so yeah, there's that with the fodder. And right now for 85 overall cards, I am making since they're they're pretty much like 13k at the moment 85s or 13k i bought for an average of 11,500 coins i'm making about 1.7 million coins already i'm getting some sales at 14k just lazy listing if i can sell them at 14k i make 3.6 million coin profit so hopefully i mean i'm hoping something comes out that makes them go to like 15k and then i'll end up at 30 million coins once everything is sold i'm trying to get up to 50 mil i want to see i want to get to 100 mil this year i don't know it's just fun getting coins it gets addicting but i want to mention roads of the final cards as well those cards are rising a ton uh before we go into roads of the final let's just say everything with fodder so basically i'm saying hold it should rise just to let you know the peaks are at content so like when content drops and new SBCs come out like that icon we see fodder peak and then as the day goes on unless people are on the game doing SBCs it comes down in price and that's you know I always say hey you guys can like daily fluctuation trade with that and I know a few people have been doing that with the 85 so that's awesome there do I know do I think you can buy back in tonight? I don't necessarily know. You need more SBCs to come. I would say you could buy back 85s tonight if they're below 12K. Potentially, you could look into doing that, but you're not probably going to see profit unless another type of casino SBC comes out like an 85 plus times five requiring 85 overall cards. I think that's really the only way you're gonna maybe see some decent profit there. But... 11 if you can get like 11.5 okay 11.75 is pushing it and um when it comes to fodder as well i wanted to mention later on in the week like wednesday if we see a dip in fodder before rival rewards comes out i would buy it especially high rated fodder say wednesday night before rival rewards we see 87 overall cards come down in price i'm going all in because what we're probably going to see on thursday is People get coins, people get fodder from rival rewards, and they're going to use those coins, they're going to use that fodder to go complete these icon SBCs. And when that happens, we see fodder go up a ton on Thursday. And I mean, I think that is, it's sometimes risky when you do that, but I think it's very likely that we're going to see a big jump in fodder on Thursday just because we have this SBC refreshing Thursday and we have this SBC refreshing every day. So I like that. I'm definitely going to look to make that move myself i mean who knows maybe i'll be selling my fodder like tuesday and wednesday and then wednesday night i go all in again on high rated fodder and then i sell it thursday that could be a really great play if i can you know time it right because it might take a while to sell all and then buy all it might be a pain in the ass but on to road to the final cards you guys know my fodder just wait Wednesday is likely going to be my sell day. That's all I'm saying. Now, road to the final cards. They are up a lot. They keep rising. And I think it's just, you know, the cards that EA put into packs kind of stink and the showdown SBCs are garbage. They are absolutely garbage. And if we look at one card that I mentioned, I told you guys about him. If you want to buy him, put him in your team. I think he's going to go up a good amount going into his next game. And when I said, if you wanted to use him or have him as an investment in your team, he was 550K when I said that. This dude is now 660,000 coins. And I don't see him coming down because what I said with Calvin Phillips is manchester city are playing rb leipzig they drew their first game so he got no upgrade their next game though if they win and go to the next round he gets an upgrade for winning but he gets an upgrade for going to the next round so that's a double upgrade coming up and for calvin phillips when they were going into the first game against rb leipzig the dude was like 900 000 coins almost so i'm looking at it i'm like okay he's probably going to go up to like 800 to 9 000, 900 000 coins again going into that game unless like a crazy Premier League center mid comes out that is super cheap and makes him come down in price. But we have no leaks of that, so I'm not expecting anything like that. But I want to mention that with Calvin Phillips. He's up over 100,000 coins from when I mentioned him, so that's dope there. But I also want to mention the other route. Someone brought this up on stream. And Forsberg, this card, he's up a little bit now, and it's kind of crappy. I, I kind of wish I noticed this beforehand. But this is really interesting. I mean, you would need... We need some crazy 
situation for this to happen. I, I don't know. Leipzig have to win. But look at it this way. We figured this out because of Miranda. This is an 86 overall card. I mean, it's pretty low risk just because he's so close to fodder price. He's, he's literally pretty much fodder price. He's 2,000 coins off of 86 overall cards. But Miranda went from an 86 overall card to an 88 overall card from one upgrade. And that's how Team of the Week upgrades are now. They don't do plus one. They do the, you get a double upgrade if you're an 86. It stops at 87. So he's an 86. Guess what? If they beat Manchester City, he gets an upgrade for beating Manchester City, but he gets an upgrade for going to the next round. So he goes to an 89 overall card. If we look at 89 overall cards, they're going for almost 50,000 coins. This dude's 20K. So I just wanted to mention that it's something to keep an eye on, but like they have to beat City. That's the thing. I'm, I'm just mentioning it. I, I'm not necessarily saying to invest in him, but when the game comes around, if you want to take a little bit of a gamble, it's it's, it's something to, you know, keep in the back of your head. Because I don't know. You never know. City, when it comes to the Champions League, it's Manchester City. And they lose quite often. So, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them to lose. I forget how the game went against Leipzig. I don't know how Leipzig did, if City were, like, really bad or if Leipzig played really good. But know that. Another card that's kind of similar to that is Malin. I think Malin rose even more today because Chelsea are so bad. Chelsea is so bad and this dude just keeps rising and this is another card that gets a double upgrade if they beat Chelsea He gets an upgrade for winning a game, but he gets an upgrade another upgrade for going to the next round So this guy would be a 89 overall card and I think if they beat Chelsea I think he goes to like 150 200k anywhere in that range. So I just kind of wanted to mention that as well These cards keep freaking rising, but I personally am waiting till later. I'm just kind of waiting I know, like I keep saying I'm waiting and they keep rising and it's like, oh my God. But I'm hoping maybe this next promo with live cards, I'm hoping it causes some panic on the market and these guys come down a little bit. But wow, uh, they, they keep rising. I just wanted to kind of mention that. And now where are we at? Team of the week. I want to look into team of the week investments as well. When it comes to team of the week, I am kind of, I think I'm only watching three cards from the current team of the week for investments. Let me take a peek. When it comes to Team of the Week as well, I want to mention the cards that got re-released. You can maybe look into those as well. Someone like Erling Holland, I want to mention him. Ha, before we go into Team of the Week, there's other cards like Trent as well. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Foot Centurion, that one could be decent. But when I look at these cards, like ones to watch Holland, I'm just going to pull them up real quick. He is currently going for, I think, just below 700k. Yeah, so six... 690 695 around there let me just pull them up so you guys can see what happened so with erling holland his ones to watch card I th when was their game let me just look you can kind of tell on the hourly graph you'll see here uh bada bing bada boom erling holland we look at yesterday was it saturday they played i think it was saturday saturday he didn't play crazy good or whatever not a team of the week performance boom all the way down back to like 680 690 around what he's going for now but he was up at like 850 so i'm like okay they play again you know next weekend maybe i could pick up a holland either one for my team or just two as an investment and sell him going into the game because i mean that's pretty freaking low for a holland and this dude is due for a hat trick uh, he's he needs something uh, i don't know what's been going on with him but he's, he's been off a little bit he seems off but i mean it's holland he's a robot he's just gonna go into his system his ai and, and reset and he's just gonna go and score a hat trick against newcastle it is against newcastle by the way and they just lost i think what two nil to um to manchester united so you know maybe maybe manchester city claps them four nil and holland scores a hat trick maybe we shall see so I just kind of wanted to mention that. And now let's look at Team of the Week cards as well. Going into Team of the Week, I want to make sure I pull this up on Flippin as well. So I am only watching three cards, really, correct? Three? Yeah, as sort of maybe going up out of packs. I'm not too crazy about Ray Nil, though. I don't know how he would do going out of packs, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's a really interesting card. I just don't know necessarily how he's going to do out of packs. It's as simple as that really is so there's a bunch at 14k but there's none at 13.75 that's interesting now they're there at 13.75 so the crazy thing about this card is he can play center back and he's 88 pace that's really the only kind of interesting thing is it's really hard to link him but 
If you wanna buy them for like 13.5 and lazy list them for around like 15 to 16K, you can give that a shot. Investment wise, I'm, I'm shaky on it. Medina is another one actually I should mention. Medina is, I, I didn't realize that he was, I don't know why I didn't realize he's legal. Le Medina's interesting, he's fodder price as well. Maybe I'll mention him in like tomorrow's video. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. But one of the cards I wanna mention is GGMU. GGMU, they always rise, they always do. I mean, I can literally pull up any, you know what, let's do it right now. Let's pull up any Manchester United promo card. Ready? I'm gonna full screen this so we can all look at it together. This is something we're gonna to do together. I haven't done it myself, but we're just gonna kind of wing it and see what happens. So let's look at Malasia. How has Malasia done out of packs? Malasia, where's this? He was mini release, so that was weird. And he goes out of packs. Fr Friday, out of packs, boom, up in price. Okay, let's look at another Manchester United card. Let's pull up Alanga. Alanga was tough. There were so many right wings. Yeah, I, I didn't like Alanga. I probably shouldn't pull up a lot. I don't like Alanga. I said it from the start. You know, he's a pretty garbage card. And at the time, there was a Theo Walcott SBC. There was the right mid uh, objective. I forget his name, Gordon. So that was kind of a tough one. Let's look at Dallow. I think Dallow did really good. Dallow out of packs. Flew. It's, it's big GGMU. Let's look at the last one. Look, Team of the Week, Luke Shaw. It's just GGMU right here. Team of the Week, Luke Shaw was 42K. Going out of packs, he's up now at 62K. So he rose 20K from his low. Any other GGMU? So let's just look at like a basic team of the week, Rashford. Team of the week, Rashford. He was, how do I do this? Boom, out of packs, Wednesday, something like that. At 130, rose up to 145. Nothing too crazy on Rashford. But what I'm trying to say is Manchester United has a lot of hype. Uh, a lot of big clubs do. So when it comes to Bruno Fernandes, if you can get him for around 60,000 coins, it shouldn't be too hard to do, even below 60,000 coins. I don't mind it. I can't buy these right now. Yeah, I'm in the unsigned glitch, so I can't pick them up. But I, I, I don't know. I look at his stats and it's kind of shaky. That's the only thing that worries me. His stats, he's almost giving me like Alanga 2.0, but it's Bruno Fernandes and Manchester United. I like him a lot. So I wouldn't go crazy on it, but if you wanted to pick one up, it's not terrible. And then another one I was watching was KDB for like 370. Maybe if you can get an undercut at like 360, I like that. I think KDB will probably do fairly decent out of packs, especially uh, we got multiple team of the weeks here. So let's go like that. It's KDB. Uh, what is it? The 93 one? Yeah, 93 KDB. If you wanted them for your team, I would say we might be seeing a low around now. 373 is as low see if you can get for like 365 maybe potentially around there and i just kind of wanted to mention some of the team of the week cards i'm not going too crazy on them but if you want to buy one for your team or just stock one in your club i don't think it's a terrible move now uh up next is i want to mention a showdown league this is crazy this is actually ridiculous do i have it on twitter i do Look at this. So one of the showdowns leaked, this is from Foot Sheriff, is a loan showdown. It's a super loan, actually. And it's 99 games. And this is what it's looking like. So um, I don't know what EA was thinking, doing a super loan SBC. And they're not even that crazy of cards for like a loan card. So that's just interesting to me there. I don't know. I don't... I have no idea what this company is looking to do, but I think that's pretty much it. We talked about showdown, probably more SBCs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hopefully more stuff comes out. Hopefully our fodder can rise even more. I would expect something, at least one more, at least one more SBC between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'd be shocked if we don't get at least one more and everything keeps refreshing. So fodder should rise and the next promo is going to be really good for investment. So we got a... This is a great time. If you're just finding this YouTube channel, this is a great time to be getting in here because we're making a ton of coins on fodder this week. We are hopefully going to make a crap load of coins next week because it's another live promo and I'm just going to buy early on these live cards and then they're going to fly and I'm going to be rich. But that is it. Um, any questions, let me know in the comment section. My trading Discord, description down below. My Twitch live stream, description down below. If you ever want to come in, ask questions. You know, we had this on the screen for the past few days. Obviously, they're up in price now, so... That ship is kind of sailed, but you know, if you ever join the streams, if I see an investment that I like, I try to type it out, but that's it for this video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.